Hello, my name is Siddharth Mehta. Firstly, thanks for your interest in my course SQL Server Analysis Services Data Mining and MDX Training. Firstly, I would like to let you know something about me. I am a resident of India. I have more than 14 years of IT experience in the field of BI and Analytics. Here is my education. Here are my certifications. I have been a Microsoft MVP for a couple of years. I am also a published author. I have hundreds of online publications. Plus, I have been a part of a couple of books and white papers. One of them is for MSD in itself. Presently, I work as a senior technology architect with my employer. Now, why should you learn SSAS and MDX? One of the most complex technologies yields better salaries, one of the best reasons to learn SSAS and MDX, supported by almost all of the analytics products. It's the SQL of analytics, MDX. You can work in different capacities. It is one of the most important skills for an architect. Being a senior technology architect, I can assure you, you should always know SSAX because it is the core of OLAP. Here is a graph that shows that SSAS yields higher salaries. We start with the assumption that the student has no idea of what OLAP or SQL Server transactional databases are. We start with simple tables we walk the student through the dimensional modeling and then finally by the mid of the course you will be able to build OLAP structures like facts, dimensions, measure groups, etc. This course is not only for developers. All the topics related to administration, performance engineering, fine tuning, debugging, all those topics are also covered in the course. Having learned this, the question is why should you learn data mining? Data mining is the first step towards being a data scientist. If you want to learn complex data analysis science and algorithms like clustering or let's say decision trees or market basket analysis, time series predictions, these kind of analysis you will be able to do by the end of the chapter. The last two sections are totally dedicated on data mining. Again, the, we do not assume that the student has any knowledge on data mining. By the end of the chapter, this kind of detailed, complex data mining, prediction and analysis and forecasting you will be able to do provided you pursue the entire course. These are some of the complex cluster analysis profiles or these are some of the complex association algorithms and output profiles. In case if you are interested in pursuing the course, here is the layout of how the course is structured. Each section contains hands-on practical examples with coding and relevant theory wherever applicable. I hope you would enroll in the course and I hope to see you soon in the class. Thank you.